happy first day of spring. This is also often called the vernal equinox. An equinox is a word from the Greek that means equal night. And so equa for equal and nox for night, I'm assuming, I don't speak ancient Greek. Um, the vernal equinox is the time of year when all over the world, the day and night are pretty equal. Um, and so what happens is as the earth is um, rotating around the sun, there are two times a year, the vernal equinox and then the autumnal equinox, which is in uh, September, that the, that the um, sun is standing exactly over the equator. And so, like I said, this happens two times a year. This year, the vernal equinox is today, March 19th, at 10.49 tonight. And that's when the sun is exactly over the equator. Now that the equinox is passing, what's gonna happen is that the Northern Hemisphere is gonna start tilting toward the sun, and days are gonna get longer, nights are shorter, and then it will max out at the summer solstice, which will be uh, June 21st. So there are a lot of myths and legends surrounding the, um, the vernal equinox. And one of the really funny ones and fun ones is that they ask or they say that you can balance an egg on its end, just any normal egg, on its end on the vernal equinox. This practice of trying to balance an egg on the end, on the broad end usually, started in China. It's been going on for centuries and it was part of their spring celebration. Um, the Chinese first day of spring is in early February. In 1945, Life Magazine did a story on this festival and it became a craze in the United States to try to go out and balance an egg on its end and they just sort of translated it to American Spring, which is the vernal equinox. So I watch all kinds of videos and they're, what they want, what you wanna look for is you wanna look for eggs that have like dimples or imperfections on the ends because those act as sort of a tripod. And then I watch all kinds of videos with guys like doing this and it is possible, not just on the vernal equinox, but any day, but I couldn't get it to work. So I did find a trick though. So this is just, fancy because I'm a cook so I have fancy salt but this is just regular white salt you just just need a little bit put it in a little pile it's a cheat for sure then you take your egg and you kind of nestle it in the salt get it to stand now you blow enough of the salt away so you don't see it and there you have it an egg balancing on the end, just like magic. So, try this at home. It's a fun thing for, to do with your kids. You can show off to your kids that you can make an egg balance. Happy spring, first day of spring, from all of us here at the Roost Company.